guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so today what we're going to work on is getting that library completely finished again i was working on some of the banners and getting them to work on all that uh so we can finish up that part and once we do that we'll be able to um close up the uh remove the scaffolding and stuff so it'll look a little bit better uh, now we do have one of these here, so I'm going to just see what it looks like with these ones. Hmm. I don't know if I want it with that one or with the other one. So there's also the kind of ripped flags as well. And then there's these ones. Those ones kind of stick out of the roof. I'm not too happy with the way that that, that happens. I'll probably go with these ones here. So we'll just quickly select all these and set those up. I think that will look better than if we were to do the ones going through the roof. So a lot of the people are going to go to bed pretty soon, so I'm having a hard time selecting that one. Not sure why. There we go. It's partly because of the trees here, I think. Almost had it selected. <laughs> oh. It's really hard to select that. There we go. Alright. like those we'll go ahead and change these we just got a whole bunch of um what do you call it um linen or flax uh this year so we should be able to afford all these different banners i think that will look good though with the uh when it's finished and these guys are just going up here to build some of these things so but uh, yeah, um, we got that done, and that means we can start moving stuff in. I got the other workstation up here. Um, we still need torches. And last episode, I did realize that we weren't able to get the full benefit of that open area down from downstairs. So we're going to have to bring bookshelves upstairs as well to get that maximum benefit from having the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm...
Right, so I'm getting them to build more bookshelves uh, in these areas as well, so we can get all the um, books all sorted out. So I figure we're probably going to have a pretty good decent amount of the regular bookshelves down on the first floor. And then we'll have like the advanced books on the second floor, just so it's a little bit easier to um, go up and down and stuff like that. So it doesn't require them to switch floors. They can just go around, stick to their floor level. So I'm going to just make sure that all the bookshelves that they are building are for the ones that are near that side. So for example, this one, those two are already set up. That one's set up. And I have another one over here for the other one and then we can put if we need more books than or bookshelves then what we can do is we can put the floor ones in and we'll do like um maybe double ones like that or something i don't i'm not sure what i'll be doing for the parts we might be able to fit some floor ones down but yeah uh it's, it's coming around quite well actually so uh, once we get this part settled, uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and finish getting the um, part set up. But um, like for the, the lighting and stuff like that, I want to get some of these other lights in. They might be adding them pretty soon, so we have that one here. We'll turn that one on once we change the sticks. So that needs to be refueled. I don't know why it happens like that. Sometimes. Like, if we turn it off and on, it's not fueled, but it was fueled when we had it. So, it's weird. I don't know. It's like a bug or something. But, we'll do that. Keep it on. We'll just turn it on and off just to make sure that it stays on. That should help with the lighting a little bit more in these corners. There's still some lighting problems around these parts. Um, not sure really how to fix that just yet. Uh, I do have a light that's going to be put over here, but because the door is right in the middle, it's a little bit harder to do. So I might just um, put a torch on that wall right there. We'll see how the how it looks with the rest of the lights and stuff once we get it all set up. But hopefully, we'll be able to get this finished today, and then um, if they have time, they can finish all the other banners and stuff like that. So looks like they got most of the scaffolding built. So. It's kind of a shame that we have to tear all that down after, but mostly it's just um, getting all this stuff built. And then we can put even storage up here for books that are not really designed, like doesn't have shelves. So we can put extra books up here somewhere.
Alright, so we got uh, the library all done. It's uh, functional, so I got the razors in here for now. Uh, these are just clay ones. It's temporary. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually heating it all the way. We have to wait now for the uh, save, but uh, we'll keep an eye on the uh, temperature in just a second. All right, so looking at the temperature, it looks like it's a little bit cold upstairs. Uh, we can probably turn up the temperature downstairs and get that all sorted out. So we'll set the intensity to high for both of these. And we'll see if that helps. It's about two degrees up here. So it, it does, it, it did start kind of warming up the, the floor a little bit. Maybe we'll need a couple more. Uh, might even need them in the first floor uh, bottom fl part bottom part maybe I'm not sure or we could just put a couple upstairs too that's always an option uh, we could put them underneath the torches I guess on these sides that might help we'll see how this turns out um, we'll let them basically go ahead and warm up we'll also set these to high pro priority because the upstairs needs to actually get heat and stuff like that but we'll see how that turns out um we'll keep an eye on it downstairs it's pretty warm 23 degrees so we might just need something upstairs instead but we'll keep an eye on that for a couple days and see how the temperature it is winter so um perfect time to test and stuff like that as far as uh the farms coming along we got um we're getting the bricks all installed and stuff like that. So at least this farm will be done by the time we're ready um, when winter starts setting in. But uh, this is for the barley field and then we need to mine out all that. And there's mining that needs to be done over here as well. So um, it might take a couple seasons to get the farm all finished. And I just want to get this part built so we can go ahead and start working on the remainder of the paths which shouldn't take too long all the limestone is already situated and everything like that we just need to allow them to actually build it but we should probably tell this guy not to be outside too because unless he's got warm equipment on superior he should maybe be fine negative 16 i don't know what temperature it is so it's negative three out here so he might be fine i don't know hard to tell usually he sleeps during the, the day so
guys. So we got uh, the garden part done as well. So we got that all, like the Brits, uh, bricks all put up. Uh, Brits. We got the Brits all put up. Um, no, uh, the, the bricks uh, for the uh, foundation, just to make sure that the retaining wall is sturdy enough. And then what I've done is I've put um, wood on top of it like we were going to do. And I think that will look uh, fine when we actually get the rest of the um, walls and stuff all situated around the entire pond and stuff, or river, I guess. Um, it's more of a pond because it doesn't really connect on either end, but, you know, it's still something that we can work on. But, uh, yeah, that part's done. Um, I The next thing that I've told them to do was start working on finishing up the paths up in this part. And then once that's done, we can tell them to finish these paths and uh, we can get that part done as well. And then we'll probably start working on the churches, most likely. We'll probably start with the... Um, uh, maybe the Oak Betheran, uh Church. We might be able to set that up. Um, around here and get that all built up and stuff like that because I want to start working on a bigger church design and once we get that one figured out uh, we'll probably move the oak bear into this building that's why I haven't demolished it yet and once we get this all built or moved in then what we can do is we can start demolishing the actual church and then we can start figuring out how we're going to be uh, building around in this particular area. But we have a pretty big plot to build on, so we should be good for that. Um, I want to design it in a way where trees can actually grow um, along the front here. I think this is where the sun's going to kind of get the most um, spots, is right here. So we'll probably leave some spots open for either flower beds or uh, we could go with... Um, trees or something like that just something a little bit decorative and we're probably making enough saplings each year for some decorative trees so outside of that if you were new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out